So I just spotted small mouth here. Oh, it's right there. Oh, that's a baby. That's a baby. That one's so small. Oh, that? That one's like very small. Here, wait. Just. Okay, we're gonna go right over here. It's going downstream. Hmm? It's going downstream. I'm gonna see if I can go. Oh, it's putting on the next bait. So we just flipped over this and we got some worms because we were getting bites right over here by this thing. So we still couldn't catch them on the worms so we're going to end up going upstream more and see if we can catch any more. So we'll see you there. So we're just going down to this deep pocket right over here and we're going to go for some chubs. With, we have some bread and worms. And we're going to catch some chubs and use them for bait later in another river for catfish. We'll see you when you get there. So we just found a hot spot here. First spot. There's one. Steiner. There we got a little one. What is this? Great job. Yeah, here. So, cut it. Very, very, very small hook. And there's the first one. So far, we have four small ones right now. So let's keep going. Keep losing my worm every time. Another one. Oh, I think I found a shiner hole. I just got two shiners already. Instantly you're getting bites. I have two shiners in here. Oh, I took my bread. Oh, I can't. This guy walks right beside me now. Just steal the honey horn. Oh, I was just saying. Kill him, you bobber. So guys, we just finished up. We have about 15 in the bucket. And now we're gonna go all the way down that way to the next river. And we're gonna catch some catfish. See you there. So we're just scooping in little piles over here, like this, and catching little baby minnows. And we we'll see how much we have right over here. Full container here. And we let some of the shiners and shads go and uh, creek chubs that we got because we only need a couple because we're cutting them in half. And we'll see you when we get there. This right here is just the mouth of the river we just fished. And then it leads out to the lake down there. And there's another river which that's where we're going to go. So these piers right over here, we fish at these in the fall time and we catch lots of pike and smallies there. You'll see them right when we come up here. So we just got home and we have this little baby guard and that's why we got all those baby minnows. And the other tank here, little bass, 
and the pike. And we'll feed them and we'll show you later. So change of plans. We're not going for catfish anymore. It's the next day because it started raining. So we're going to be throwing this crankbait and going for bass. So we just ended up moving spots because we only got one bite there. So now I just switch to a popper and I'll tell you how it goes. A lot of weeds, so it's kind of hard. So, this is the bait we're using. It's like mimicking a bass because we have tons of those around here. And basically, I have the tip. We're probably gonna fish about 15 more minutes here, and I'll tell you how it goes. So, so we're going to the next spot right here. And I'll let you know how it goes. So that's going to do it for fishing. And I'll see you when we get back to the house.